friends hello how are you guys um i'm doing amazing um i'm actually just super super tired i just got done with uh my night class and it was very long and it was a lot i am filming this on wednesday knowing full well that i did not upload on wednesday um i am I warned you, <laughs> I told you uploads might be a little less consistent. I honestly just getting back into the swing of school has been a lot and figuring out a time to film in between all the other things I'm doing has been a lot. So that's why I still feel bad because I, I didn't upload tonight. Um, when you're watching this, it'll be like two days later and you guys probably didn't even notice, but like I noticed and I cared and I felt bad. But um, we're just gonna stick, hopefully I can film something for Saturday as well. And then I have already stuff uploaded for Monday, so we're set there. But um, today, I could not think of something to film. I My creative energy is really tapped at the moment. So um, you guys are gonna be like, Hannah, this tag is like, five months old and I'm gonna be like friends <laughs> do you want content or not? <laughs> no, just kidding um I am basically going to be doing the tag that was inspired by spooky lips and fat hips and Lacey here on YouTube I absolutely love her she is like if you guys don't follow her I shout her out all the time on my channel because I think she's literally my soul sister um I love her so much and we've done a collab before her i've been on her podcast with georgia a few times and i just freaking love her like she's so great and she came up with this tag a really long time ago and i always meant to do it and then i always forgot so we're gonna do it today um we're basically gonna go through and read all the questions and i'll give you guys my answers you can watch a million of these videos and people are gonna give different answers and also this makeup mess tag is just <laughs> kind of funny um there's a lot of funny questions thrown in here so let's just um let's get started let's get it started <laughs> let's get it started <laughs> <laughs> Before I start, I told you guys I mentioned the eyeshadow palette I got from Undone Beauty a few days ago, probably a few days ago. I mentioned in a video the palette I got from Undone Beauty. They actually sent over their bronzer as well. So it's actually a bronzer and a highlighter mixed. It has like four different tones. I find it pretty easy to dip a bronzer brush in here because the pan is so big. Normally I would take issue with this, but like my bronzer brush, it's pretty easy to keep them separated. Why did I do that? Now this brush is even more dirty. Um, we'll get into that in a second, but it also comes with these two highlighters. Again, I think for the price, these 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 things are cute i think if you're trying to build up a makeup collection i will say these bronzers are a little bit more red tone but the highlighters i'm wearing it right now the highlighters are really really pretty i'm also wearing the bronzer right now i used it as more of a contour shade really really pretty and i think this is again like 12 dollars. you get a ton of product this is the warm up bronzer i really like this brand now i'm gonna try to buy some more stuff from them now that I know they exist, um, because I think they're cool. They sent me this brush too. I tried to use it and this little, the it's like a scoop. These bristles are not as firm as these ones. So the ones up here tend to, I don't like the brush to just to keep it simple. I don't like the brush they sent over, but I like all of the makeup products they've sent over. And I got those from Octoly if I forgot to say it. <laughs> this is the question that I don't like answering. It says, how often do you wash your makeup brushes and sponges? yikes sponges pretty frequently because you have to wet those anyways so it's like oh while i'm here might as well squirt some soap on this and just kind of get her get her clean <laughs> brushes on the other hand that's commitment that's effort um i don't do well with commitment and effort so i wash them like after all my friends used them i washed them and if other people use them typically i'll wash them because like spreading germs is gross and i know like they get okay i don't do it enough how about that is the answer i probably wash my brushes once like a month i feel like everyone's gonna judge me and be like but like i'm so sorry i'm so busy so busy so busy really it's hard um, and it also gets my sink so dirty and then it's like I have to find a place to put them all I will say I haven't washed them since I cut down on my brush collection and I recently got rid of a ton and I think now would probably be less difficult to wash them because my face brushes are like
many as they used to be. My eye brushes are what is a pain though. And also if I wash them, like I can't do my makeup the next day because they're still drying and some of them get deformed. It's just a whole thing. And I don't, I know there's tricks to make them not deform, but I don't have enough hair ties to tie them all upside down and make them dry properly. So <laughs> that's why I don't, I don't wash them nearly enough. How do you organize your makeup collection? <laughs> Here's the team. I love organizing my makeup collection. When I am stressed or when I'm anxious about something in my life, I come into this room, I come into my oasis, I meditate a little bit. I don't actually do that. I usually just come in here and stare at all the makeup. But I come in here and I reorganize everything. I love organizing my makeup. It is literally one of my favorite things to do and I'm like a huge organization freak. I have tons of different things to organize them with. One thing I would like to be able to get is the acrylic holders for like your compacts. Um, but those are really expensive. They're like, I don't know why somebody decided that acrylic organizers needed to be $65, um, but they are. So I don't have those, but I do have for a lot of my little compacts. This is new. I haven't done this in the past, but I keep them in these little like Dollar Tree baskets. I love organizing, but I also don't want to spend the money to organize because I'd rather spend that money on more makeup because um, I'm crazy. Um, so I usually have my compacts in like here. Here's the thing. I used to store my blush and my bronzer in one drawer because a lot of you guys, after I purged all of my blushes, you guys were like, put them in a smaller drawer so it doesn't feel as empty. And I thought that was a great idea. So I had all of my blush and bronzer compacts in one drawer and all of my highlighters in one and then all of just my palettes like blush, contour, and um, highlighter palettes all in one drawer, but I realized I never ever ever reached in to the the palette drawer to get like a blush palette I would just grab a single blush I actually find I use more of my palettes and use more of my makeup when I have everything together So I have all of my blush in one and I have all of the palettes and then I have little um those organizers Eyeshadows are basically just stored so I can hopefully try and see as many of them as possible um, because I don't, I feel like if I can't see it, I'm a very visual person. If I can't see stuff, the majority of my makeup is set up so I can see it. I have a lot of primers stored in a basket like this. And similarly two baskets of like this that store my foundation. And I just try to keep everything so I can see it. My biggest advice, if you have a big collection and you feel like you're not using a lot of it is to just see everything. When I see drawers that are just filled to the brim. This is so much of an explanation for this question, but when I see drawers that are just filled to the brim and like everything is stacked on top of each other of highlighters, I get physical anxiety because I would never use them. Like if I couldn't see all of my children, I wouldn't be able to give them enough attention. So I try to keep them so I can visually see all of them when I open a drawer so I know what I'm working with and that has helped me immensely. Do you put your makeup products away after you are done using them or leave them out for tomorrow? I literally always make a point every single day to make sure my desk is clean. You can look at it right now. It's spotless. Everything has a place on my desk. Everything, which I like it that way. Nothing else in my life is organized. I'm not joking. Nothing. Nothing else in my life is organized. But this section of my life, like my YouTube desk and my makeup desk, is always organized. Always. I always make sure everything has a place. Everything looks nice. I can know exactly where I'm going to grab stuff and like that is how I like it because I feel like when I'm filming especially in times like these when I'm doing school too and I don't have a ton of time I need to be able to sit down and film a 25 minute video in 25 minutes and not waste my time trying to find stuff and trying to dig for that one highlighter like everything needs to have its own space so my makeup is always put away and always put back right after I do it. Again, I'm not organized in any other aspect of my life. This is the only place. Looser pressed powders, why not both? I prefer both. I like loose powders for under my eyes and I like pressed powders for my entire face. That's just how I've always been. I don't know why. I do hate that loose powders get kind of messy and like explode when you open them and close them, but um, it's worth it because with my under eyes, I really prefer a loose setting powder. Looks really good with me. Do you ever fall asleep without taking your makeup off? Recently, no, I've been a lot better. I had like an awakening a few months ago that skincare is really important. Um, and ever since, that, which is like, duh. But ever since then, I've been really trying to take care of my skin. And every night I make a point, if I do nothing else, if I can't be bothered to like wash my face or do anything else, I always take my makeup off with a makeup wipe. And I always use some sort of toner. Recently, it's been the Thayer's Witch Hazel Toner, which I love. Um, and most nights I remember to like spot do spot treatments on like pimples and stuff, but sometimes I don't. I don't wash my face every single night because 
yikes. But I do remember times where I would get home and I would just fall asleep in my makeup all the time. I think I used to sleep in my makeup a lot, honestly, because I didn't understand why that was horrible for you. Uh, and then I'd be like, why am I freaking out? Because uh, you're sleeping in your makeup, but yeah. What makeup rules do you like to break? Do I break any? Am I? I'm not a rule breaker. I've never really been a rule breaker. I've always kind of been a like a, a narc and like a goody two shoes and I hate getting in trouble. And like if people yell at me, I start crying. Uh, that's not what this is about, but that's just a little tidbit about me. I'm like very sensitive to getting in trouble. I hate getting in trouble. Makeup wise though, I don't know, I'm so basic. I'm so basic with my makeup that it's like, what even rules could I be breaking? Maybe sometimes I put some shimmer in my in my crease. <laughs> is that breaking a rule? I think it is, but I don't really have any, I don't know. I don't really think there are a ton of rules to makeup is the thing. Like I know there's like, there are rules, but like I feel like just do you and do what you want. You know what I mean? If I was breaking a makeup rule, I don't think I would know it because I don't really think of them as like rules. I just think they're, they are what they are, you know? Will you use a product even if it's cracked or broken? To be honest, it depends. This is shallow, but it depends how expensive it is. If my $45 highlighter breaks, you bet your ass I'm gonna repress that and do everything I can. But it might like wet and wild highlighters broke and I just threw them out. Do you wait to pan a product completely before you replace it? No. I very rarely replace products, but when I do, um, cause I've had some, especially like two I can think of are actually bronzers, Benefit Hula Bronzer Mini and my Physician's Formula Bronzer. So I hit pan on the product, but I don't finish the product. There's usually still a decent amount of product left by the time I buy it. It's not that I think I'm gonna run out, if I'm, especially with drugstore products. If I'm at the store and they have it and I know I'm low, like why not just grab it? You know what I mean? It's the same thing with like everything else in life. How do you feel about sharing makeup? I don't care about sharing makeup. I know a lot of you are gonna leave like horror stories about all the times you shared makeup and you everything bad happened. Nothing bad has ever happened to me personally because of sharing makeup with my friends. Um, would I share like eye products with a stranger on the street? Probably not. But like my best friends, yeah, like I'd share makeup with them. None of them have ever done me wrong in the past in that way. So I probably would share stuff with them. You guys saw in the, like my guy friends, teaching my guy friends how to do my makeup. I let them have full range of my makeup. I understand though why people, cause my sister's, my sister's really, really like intense about this. She like will not share her hair brushes with people. She won't share her lipstick. She won't share like mascara or anything, eyes. And I think even powders, she won't really share. She's very, so I understand, and I get why people are touchy about it. Cause it is, there is a hygiene factor to it, but I personally feel like I trust my best friends to if they have like a cold sore to tell me before I let them use my lipstick. I'm pretty fine with letting people share my makeup, especially like my powders. Like if I'm at a music festival and a girl wants to borrow my highlighter, she's getting it. You know what I mean? But other stuff I might be a little bit more cautious about. How do you feel about buying or treating used makeup? This is an unpopular opinion. Some people think it's incredibly disgusting to buy used makeup and trade used makeup. I've personally bought a lot of things from used makeup and second party people. I typically buy things that are either never used, still in box, or have been lightly used. First of all, if I ever even got an inkling that something came out of like a dumpster, I probably would not use it. I know a lot of people do dumpster diving and are fine with that and that's fine for them, but I personally just, it's a personal thing. I think dumpster, dumpster makeup is just, it's too much for me. I think no matter how much you sanitize it, that's just a me thing, but I don't think people who do that are gross because the problem with makeup is, I watched, I watched this video by uh, Shell Bizzle is her name and she did this whole video about how wasteful makeup actually is and ever since watching that video i don't know i just really it, if i can buy something first of all it's cheaper to buy used so if you really want to build up a collection and you want to buy it used it's cheaper um and second of all it's good for the environment because it's either i use this or this person's just going to throw this away and waste all of that and just all of this waste is like accumulating from makeup and I don't like it. So I I used to buy a lot more than I do now. Now I typically just buy from the store or like buy direct. But when I was first getting to makeup and I wanted to build up a collection, I think it's a great way to affordably build up your collection. Make sure though, if you do it, first of all, never will I buy a lipstick from a second and never will I buy like a mascara or something like that ever. That is never gonna happen, that never did happen. 
buying it, lipsticks and all of that stuff made me very uncomfortable. I know there are ways to sanitize it. It just made me uncomfortable. I think that's the thing. You just have to, it's all about personal preference. So if you think that's disgusting, even like a, a, a face powder, if you think that's disgusting to share with someone, don't buy it. But like, don't shame other people for wanting to not waste things and for wanting to get things at a more affordable price. So for me, I never bought lipsticks or mascaras, but I totally bought eyeshadow palettes. Um, I personally sanitized everything before I used it. I watched it, I'll put the video down below if you guys are interested, but I watched a whole video on how to like sanitize makeup. I personally sanitize all of my stuff before I get it, before I use it. Just think, just because, like why not? You might as well sanitize it. And also if I feel like something was, came from dumpster diving or something like that, I would not use it. Uh, but I have a fair, both of my Lorac palettes I got from Poshmark, I think it was. I think I have a few things from Mercari that I bought over the years. Yeah, I've used them occasionally. I still have both the apps on my phone and I sell stuff too. I've sold, I'm gonna be opening up, I think I've gotta get my stuff together, but I think I'm gonna go through all the makeup I decluttered and basically um, open up like a Poshmark or a Mercari. And if that happens, I'll let you guys know. And if you don't wanna buy anything, don't. But if, please don't tell me how disgusting I am because a lot of people do it and it's good for the environment. And I'd rather you guys get it than have it go to waste because the stuff that I can donate, I'm going to donate, but you can't donate everything. So how often do you declutter makeup? Rarely. <laughs> I just did a whole declutter series. I have a whole playlist if you guys want to go watch it. Um, if you're interested in that sort of stuff, I, I'm going to make a whole video that's go actually going live on Monday. I've already made it. Um, basically talking about my experience decluttering, what I learned from decluttering, all of that stuff. So a lot of my thoughts on this will be in that video. If I don't like a lipstick, I, you know, I toss it or I give it to a friend. Like if I don't like a certain something, I give it to a friend. Like it really depends. Honestly, whenever my friends come over to my house, I tend to declutter a lot more because they're there and I'm like, oh, like when my friend Amber comes over, it's like she's in a Sephora basically because I'll just give her whatever she asks for because I love her. Um, so I basically will just like go through my drawer and be like, oh, I don't like this. Do you want this? Oh, I don't like this. Do you want this? And I'll go through my skincare and be like, oh, do you need a cleanser? Like I have this cleanser that somebody... So pretty much like, I, I don't do like big massive declutters though. It's like little things here and there. Does that make sense? Do you use your fingers to apply makeup? Um, only eyeshadow. I actually have really insane textural issues. Like I have, I, I cringe thinking about textures that make me cringe. Um, I have really, really bad textural issues. I can't touch, oh, I'm getting the chills. I, oh, I can't touch like flour, like flat when you're baking something and you have to like rub it in flour. Oh, it's physically making me upset. Um, a few other things, cotton, I almost threw up. Um, there's, um, I can't even talk about it. I get really, I have really bad textural issues though. So certain primers I actually literally cannot use because the texture of them is too much. I don't like it. I, I tend to steer away. Putting foundation, the feeling of foundation on my fingers is awful. It, it literally makes me, I hate it. So no, fun fact about me, I have severe textural issues. So I do not, or with my fingers. What products, if anything, do you hoard in your purse, bag, backpack, etc.? There's three things. <laughs> I will always have a pressed powder on me to touch up. I will always have a lip gloss on me. And I will always have a highlighter. There's actually four. And I will always have a beauty sponge on me. Always. If you guys ever see me and I have a bag, that's what's in there, 100%. Um, I always bring a highlighter because... I like to glow um, and I always have a powder to do touch-ups and lip gloss I just think um, even if all of your lip liquid lipstick has worn off you can throw a gloss on and it'll look okay what is your least favorite step in your makeup routine there's like a three-way tie I absolutely hate putting on foundation because I just always think it look no matter how much I blend it really just looks cakey and it's also very time consuming to like completely blend out so I don't really like foundation but my top two eyebrows because no matter how good I think they look the second I look in my car mirror they look terrible they look awful I didn't even connect the wing one time because I, I thought I did but I didn't eyebrows always mess me up and I always like don't like my eyebrows I think I do them very naturally now I've tried to stop doing them so crazy because like I just can't I just can't do it and my other least favorite thing is lips my liquid lipstick literally never looks good it never looks good it's so rare that my liquid lipstick looks good I don't like cleaning it up with concealer because I just mess that up I'm not a precise person that's why I've been wearing gloss a lot more because I find there's a little bit more freedom with gloss 
um, but liquid lipsticks also my lips are very small I don't have a large canvas to work with for lips so it's a little bit tricky I try I really 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 try but like my lips are just I can make them disappear with literally no effort like they're just small what is your worst makeup memory before I even really wore makeup I used to I remember my senior year of high school let's go take a trip down memory lane my senior year of high school, senior year, I was like, you know what? I'm going to be beautiful now. So I went into my local Ulta, which was like 45 minutes away from my house because I lived in the middle of nowhere in a very small town and in, and I was like, hi, I need makeup. And they were like, okay. Um, and they recommended this foundation and the girl was like, it, this is a full coverage foundation. Like this is what you need. And I was like, dope on a rope so i bought it it was like literally 45 dollars. and she also recommended a brush i do not think i have any of these brushes it was basically a bigger version of this brush the really thin flat one the woman at ulta she was like talking to me and she was like if you go down down and then side to side that's how you blend out this foundation and she like applied it on me and showed me and i looked in the mirror and i was like i'm flawless I went to put it on for school. The thing about me that you should know and the thing that is still incredibly true about me is that I hate waking up early with a burning passion. I absolutely despise waking up early. I will not wake up early for anything. Even as much as I love makeup now, I will not wake up early to put on makeup. It will not happen. I will not do it ever. Um, I hate it. So I woke up late and I was like, okay, it was like the first day of school. And I was like, okay, down, down, side, side, down, down, side. And I was putting on this like full coverage foundation. And then all I did, Bible, all I did, I took the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Eyeliner and I just did a straight line across my under eye. Just, that's it. So I just wore foundation and eyeliner and that was it. And my senior year was the year both of my sisters left, they were at college. So I had the car. Uh, my parent we had like a couple cars and i had my own car like i had a car that was my car and i got to drive it to school and i had arranged to like carpool all of my friends because i had a minivan so i her name was cindy she was fantastic so i was driving to school i remember and i was wearing this like cheetah dress that i had picked for the first day of school and i remember looking checking myself in my like my mirror and i had completely missed this entire part of my face from under my nose, all the way to my lips, all the way across, there was no makeup. There was nothing. It was The foundation she gave me was like two shades too dark. So it was like all orange, and then it was just this. And I looked in the mirror and I was like, and I panicked and I didn't know what to do. So then I tried to like rub it off a little bit, but it wouldn't come off because it was a full coverage, full ass foundation. Um, yeah. And then I got to school and people were like, oh my God, you're, you look like, airbrushed like what did you do to your face like you don't have because this 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 foundation was intense like it was insane and i was like i'm not even wearing makeup i don't know what you guys are talking about <laughs> yeah and then i was missing a whole face and then um it was really bad it was really bad my first day of senior year and that was the year i was i was getting your boyfriend to be beautiful and it didn't happen unfortunately for me okay i make it sound like i was like i had a rough high school experience my high school experience was honestly phenomenal like it was so good I, I loved my high school experience. And that, my friends, is the end of the tag. I hope you guys like this video. I'm so sorry I missed Wednesday's upload. I'm really gonna work hard to make sure I have at least three videos a week for you guys. But I did post something on Sunday, so that makes me feel like a little better. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Um, everything I am wearing on my face, everything, I, well, I didn't really mention any makeup this video, but everything I'm wearing on my face, my Patreon, my merch store, my, um, Twitter, my Instagram, all that fun stuff is linked down below my bio um, if you want to check it out. I work very hard on my description boxes and I feel like nobody ever looks at them. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither. I'm honestly just so happy you're watching me. Thank you. I love you guys so much. So, so, so much. And go check out Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. She is fantastic. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.